hi there in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a complete student grading system using excel so this is actually dynamic i've actually included a by chart as well and then the position and also we have the grading system and this is automatic it's automated so anytime you make any change to any of these figures the records and everything the grid and everything is going to be updated for you automatically for instance kofi is having the final score at 35 if i should change this to let's say 50 it's going to update the total score the percentage score the grid will change and then even the bar chart will also be updated automatically and then the position watch the end in order to get everything i'm going to show you in this video and at the end also i'm going to share this file with you you're going to get it completely for free you're going to get the template i have the template here and i'm going to share it with you so subscribe if today is your first time and let me know at the comment section what you think about this video I'm not going to waste so much time let's jump right into this so this is a final project and then i have the template here where i'm going to work with what we're going to do over here is to try and get a total score for this student get their percentage get the grade and also generate a buy chart and also a bar chart and also get a position for the student so these are the core things we're going to look at in this video let's jump right into this to get the total for the student is quite very easy the total is supposed to be a percentage no more than 100 percent so here we have the first quiz we have the second quiz and then we have the final score the total here should not exceed 100 percent or should not exceed 100 so in order to do that just put in equal to and then just use the sum and then we're going to select from the quiz one all the way up to quiz the final exams and then we can hit enter and it's going to give us 70 so meaning john is giving 70 over 100 we can actually drag this down to get the rest just drag this down and i'm going to get the rest so that's the rest we are getting the rest of the two tab for the student over here we have so remember here the first which is the quiz one is over 10 quiz 2 is over 30 and then, then final exam is over 60 so in total should give you 100 so no figure under the final here final exam should be more than what 60 okay the maximum can just be 60 over 60 and then for quiz 2 the maximum here cannot go beyond uh, the maximum here can be 30 to not go beyond 30 and the quiz 1 also cannot go beyond 10 okay so these are the things we need we've been able to get the total here now we also need to get a percentage now the reason why i need a percentage is that i will need to generate a bar chart over here and the total will not work with that perfectly for me so i need a percentage in order to do that and it's easy getting the percentage we're just going to put in the equal to here and then select the total column and then just divide it by 100 and then this is going to give us the percentage so you can see over here i'm getting what 73 percent is going to add a percentage symbol if you can see this you can just right click here and then go to format cells and then also what you do is that make sure you select a percentage over here for the decimal place if you don't want to get any decimal place for your percentages then you have to just click over here and make sure you change this to zero and then click on ok and that is it we can drag this down to get it for the rest okay okay so at the moment i'm going to delete this and then i'll show you how to create this so let's go ahead and then get the grade so we're going to get a grade here and then for the grade we're going to use the if statement here so if and then we're going to use you can use the percentage column or total column any of them should work for you so i'm going to use the total column for now so we're going to see if this column we're going to use a column to determine the grades we are going to give to our student so if this column is greater or equal to 90 so if i say greater or equal to 90 it means 90 is inclusive okay if that number figure in this particular column the total column is greater or equal to 90 then we are going to give the student a for that particular exams okay and then also we're going to continue like that i'll bring another if again i'm using the same column because that's the total column we will get a total score for the student so here if it's greater or equal to 80 then we would like to give another figure remember what you are giving the student should be in code so here let's say we are giving the student b if you get 80 and then above so that will be 80 to 90 so if you get 90 to 100 you get a so we're going to continue like that and i'm going to include another one here we are using the same column and this is going to be greater or equal to so let's see if you get 70 if you get 70 here then we're going to give you a c we're going to give you a c 
and then we'll continue in that order until we get all everything we want to get so here the next one you remember we are using the same column here so that is going to be f3 greater or equal to and this one let's say 60 and then we will give you a d for that we'll give you a d for that and then i'm also going to include another one if the same column f3 is greater or equal to and then the figure is going to be 50 so we're going to say 50 and then we're going to give that student e let's see we're giving that student e for that particular one and then finally we're going to see for the final part what we're going to see is that if f3 if f3 is less than so this tomorrow anything less than 50 then we're going to say you fail or let's say f for that so anything less than 50 here you're going to say f so meaning the student actually failed okay so that is basically all we need we need at the moment now you need to check the number of time you open a bracket and then close it down number of times in my case i've opened you can easily count that one two three four five six i've opened it six times so i have to do that one two three four five six and i hit enter so you can see at the moment it's giving me a c which means the column here john is getting 70 and above i can just drag this down and then it's going to reflect for the rest of my student perfect if you want to bold in this you can just select the entire column here come here and then bold in it and also change the font size depending on how you want your content to be visible to your users great now we need to actually get a bar chart i just want to just show you some technique over here we want to get a bar chart for each student based on the percentage they had so what we're going to do is that we're going to see equal to i'm going to use a formula i'm going to use this formula okay before that i'm going to change let me show you something here i'll select this column and let me just select it and then just give you let me just use a different font here okay so i'm going to use calibrate to do my calculation so equal to then i'm going to use this formula so this is a formula i'm going to use i'm going to use this formula and then put into quotes the pipe symbol put into code the pipe symbol and then bring comma and we're going to select the percentage column and then we're going to multiply that percentage column by 100 okay that is it and then close your bracket and hit enter it's going to generate this long bar for you but don't worry we're actually going to do some changes to that what we're going to do is that select that column here and then go to your font size and we're going to change the font to play bill so use this font and you can see what is going to happen you can see it has actually reduced that and it's going to give us a buy chart now just drag this down and then it's going to actually do the modification for you so you can see i've been able to generate the bars for the rest of my student you can see the length of the bar will determine your percentage score if this bar over here is dynamic actually subscribe if you watch this video to this stage subscribe and turn on post notification if you like my video share with friends and comment at the comment section of this video now that i have my bar what i will do is that imagine i come here to do any modification just modi just make sure you check the bar here if i make any modification at the moment joshua is having 88 percent and he's having a b if i decide to change quiz one for joshua to nine it's going to update this if i hit the enter key you can see here joshua is not having a total score of 90 and it's not having a and then the bar actually extended okay so this is actually very dynamic and that is actually what we want we can do that for any figure which means everything is working perfectly we can change here to like i said this is supposed not to be more than 30 so if i put in 25 here for this student also you can see it's also changed the student to a and the bar also adjusted in the order that is perfect the last thing we need to do right now is to actually get the ranks or the positions for the student and the position is going to be on their total they had for this exam so we can use the rank to actually do that so we just use the rank so when we pick the rank the rank is going to take a number so the number is basically going to be the column here and then we're going to bring a comma now we need the reference which column are we referencing so we are referencing this column so select this entire column here but we need to actually do something select the individual letters for that reference and we need to lock it we need to freeze it because it need to remain constant so you can press the f4 key on your keyboard 
we can press the function key and then the f4 key on your keyboard and let's actually freeze that figures or actually freeze those figures so you're going to add a dollar sign to that so meaning if we go down nothing is going to change it will remain constant now the final part is you bring a comma and the order it can be descending or ascending so you can choose whether it's going to be descending or ascending so zero is descending and then uh one is ascending in my case i just want to leave it as descending for now and you can see at the moment john is at position 11 meaning out of the 15 students john finishes out of the 15 students we have in class john finished at position 11 we can drag that down to actually determine the position of the rest of our students so you can see here here we have somebody's getting 90 here so the person is at position one we also have position one here which means we have more than one student getting 90 so we have about three students getting the position one and then we have the person who had last over here happens to be kofi 15 position we also have 13 position we have some people getting the same position and it's normal to have that we can actually go ahead and then do some changes so everything here is dynamic if we start making changes to our figures here you can see the position will be changing now position one is no longer here for amanda because we do some changes so we can actually do some modification if you keep changing this you will see that at the end of the day only one student will have the position of one based on the score so it's possible you have more than one student having more than position one okay so right here you can see at the moment we have only one student at position one at the moment and we have the second position goes to another student right here that is joshua and then in that order position three goes to another person so basically this is how we can create a score or a grading system using excel and this file i'm going to leave a link at the description of this video i'll actually upload it to my google drive you can have access to this template and then modify it and use it for all your scoring activities or your student grading activity you have no you have every right to use that so that is what i'm leaving with you subscribe and turn on post notification i need more subscribers i have more content coming up and you can't afford to miss this amazing videos that i'll be doing over here and on excel programming and anything related to it this is the right channel for you till i come your way again remember to like subscribe for more bye bye